so fun. Hopefully those scenes brought a smile to your face today. Are you ready for theme number two? I'm so excited today for theme number two. Let's take a look. So, um, as you know, and for those of you who may be new, every Friday we do Friday, what we, we're calling Friday with Friends. This is something new we're starting in 2021. And it's where we make someone out there the star of the show. <laughs> and let me tell you, it has been so much fun for me to be able to get to know all of you better. Um, I get on uh, just a little bit before uh, we get started and I'm able to visit with you and just kind of learn a little bit more about you. And boy, what a, what a, what a gift, definitely a gift for me to be able to get to know so many of you out there. So today I am so excited to bring on a new friend and that is Vicki Draper. Let me bring her on. Hi, Vicki. Howdy, girlfriend. <laughs> Hello. How are we doing, Vicki? Great. Great. So fun to be here. Oh, it's so good to be with you. I'm going to hurry and put on my earbuds real quick so we have no problems with echoes for everyone. There we go. Vicki, everyone give a shout out to Vicki. Say hello. Hello, hello. Because are you are you a little nervous about today? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very nervous. <laughs> Very nervous. But you, you got this, girl. You got this. So, Vicki is um, one of our friends, actually, from Utah. Woohoo! And um, she was so willing to be able to do this with me today, and I'm so grateful. And so, tell us exactly where you're from in Utah, Vicki. I live in the little town of Cedar Fort. Okay. Nobody knows where it's at. Mm -mm. You go, I didn't know. Uh, like, Lehigh and then go west through Saratoga Springs, Eagle Mountain, and then you end up in Cedar Fort. If you miss Cedar Fort and keep going, you'll end up in Tooele. Oh my goodness, that's like way out there. <laughs> For those of you in the area, you know exactly that is way out there. So how long does it take you to get to our Sandy shop? Um, uh, probably 35 minutes, 40 minutes, yeah. depending on traffic. Yeah, depending on traffic. Sometimes 45, depending, you know. Have you always lived out there, Vicki? I have. Okay. My great-great-grandparents settled here as pioneers, really? and our family stayed here really? for many generations. Wow, and here you are. Oh, my goodness. That's so great. Well, Vicki, why don't you tell all of us a little bit about you? Okay. Um, I uh, have five children. Here's a picture before my first son got married. Ooh, bring that up close. Oh, look at you. They're little oh, cowboys. The cowboy I, had, I had four boys and one girl. We lost our son about four years ago, mm -hmm. our middle son. So that's been kind of hard. Mm -hmm. But um, I I just love living out here. We've had horses. Our kids did high school mm -hmm. rodeo. Um, we raise a lot of animals. And it's just, it's just a wonderful place to grow up. I grew up here. My mom grew up here. My grandma, everyone. Wow. So we've been here forever. We've never left. Wow. But anyway, it's been really fun. But um, when I was really small, I used to sit at my mom's feet and watch her sew. She was a good sewer and she would imagine up all kinds of things. And so I started making Barbie clothes and by hand i'd watch the size of the pattern wow. and then i would cut it out and try to make barbie clothes that's not and easy then, no it's no, not because they're so little and they're so tiny and yeah. then i uh went from sewing all my kids little clothes i showed their underpants their coats their levi's till they went to junior high and then that wasn't cool but anyway i've <laughs> sewed for a very long time it's my love i love to sew wow and um, one of my fun things i did was i would make dresses for um, porcelain dolls Whoa. that match the, the girls' wedding dresses. Here's one dress wow. that has 26 <gasps> uh, yards of ruffles in it with you made fish that? and white. I did. Oh my god. And it goodness. matched the girls' dress. So anyway, that was that was a fun thing I did. But then um, we got really busy, and you know I didn't sew as much. But recently, since COVID, I've picked it up again 
<laughs> that is awesome. Oh my gosh. So you were, you were telling me earlier that, you know, there was a lot going on in your life. You had a lot of obligations. You had some volunteer obligations. You had work obligations. You had lots of things going on and then COVID hit. And so you hadn't been doing sewing. What got you started back into sewing? Well, my husband made me this. I have to show you. Me and my husband are retired. <laughs> oh, what a that's good my, looking That's my ball. mouse pad. Oh, I love but, it. Um, anyway, he wanted me to have the sewing room in my dreams. So we designed it, and he made the cabinets, and we ripped up the carpet. It was my daughter's boy, oh, not boyfriend, bedroom. <laughs> and um, we fixed this beautiful room. And so... We were so busy with with everything, and then my do my mother died a few years ago, and I had my handicapped sister to take care of. Mm. So, anyways, um, he fixed this new room. COVID hit, and I was just lost. I was so depressed. Mm. And then I don't know how I got onto girlfriends. It was just a miracle. But oh my gosh, it's been a lifesaver, Chris. Mm. And I just have started doing projects, and I just live in here. He's probably sad he made it for me because he never <laughs> sees me. <laughs> It's just been so fun. I've made a lot of our Christmas presents and you know what, birthday though? presents. And you know what, Vicky? I bet, I bet he is so happy to see you so happy. He is. Mm -hmm. He is. He loves mm -hmm. to see me using mm -hmm. my room again. And mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. And I know one of the first things you started getting into were the Kimber Bears, right? I'm gonna bring yes. up. I'm gonna bring up a picture of you. Yes. Um, holding these. Look how cute. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, when um, COVID hit, and I started watching your sh your three at three and all of your summits and everything, and then there was this pattern that was free for these Kimber Bears. And so, you know, I've collected a lot of fabric over 60 years. But <laughs> anyway, so I got it all out, and I made them all for my grandchildren. And then it was close to Easter, mm -hmm. so I did rabbits, too. That's so cool. And, and, you know, we didn't dare get around our families. We just right. was, you know, home, right. quarantined. So I boxed them up and dumped them on their doorstep and, oh. and you know, didn't even go in the house to oh. take them to these kids because we couldn't have our parties and our things that we always get to do in Easter time. So that was one of the first things that, I you know, I started sewing. I just brought up a picture of your grandson with his little bear. Oh, uh, it's yeah, so his sweet. was uh, like a uh, um, black and white. Uh, what do you call it? Like a cow print. Yeah, yeah. Cow oh, fur. Uh huh. <laughs> how cute! And look, you can just see how much he loves it, right? They all just loved him. Mm, in fact, you know what, Vicky. Kim is actually on here right now and she said oh this makes me so happy to see the Kimber Bears <laughs> yes thank you Kim for that pattern that is so sweet I love it and I'll tell you you are so clever I I in just the the little bit that we have been chatting to today I'm like wow she is a smart smart woman because you've got a show and beautiful by the way I must say oh, thank um, you. please show us your shirt <laughs> oh yeah because this, this shirt. look we all know this shirt <laughs> right so happy but all of a sudden she showed me that and she stood up and I was like whoa 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 wait a minute now what are those sleeves tell us about that well, I, I bought it. They were on a sale, uh -huh. one of the three at three deals. <laughs> and so they only had like a 3X. And so I thought, oh, I can, I can work with that. So anyways, I bought it and I was so excited. I loved the color. And then I laid on my uh, favorite t-shirt pattern, cut the neck lower because the t-shirts always choke me. And then the sleeves were smaller and they, you know, the 3X come way down. So I put the <laughs> ruffle. That's so, and so hold, that, hold that up for a minute. That is really cute. What a great addition to the shirt. Yeah. And it's white with this. So yeah. It's, um, 
it, it's perfect. It's perfect. That's so, so smart. I love that. I love that so much. So um, you have this new room that, that your husband said, let's put together a new room for you, which is so fun. And what an amazing husband to be so supportive. But one of the things that comes with getting a new room is trying to figure out where is all of this stuff going to go, right? Where am I going to yep. put everything? And so I know you have some tips today for people about how you have organized your room. So, and you sent me some pictures that I'll bring up on the screen as well. And do you want me to bring up the picture and then you tell me what it is? Or yes. Will that yes, work? That's what we'll do. Okay, yep. let's do that. So first, tell us about this table right here. Okay, this is like an island, mm -hmm. and it has um, drawers at, down one side. It's got cupboards around it, and then I can scoop my chair under it, and it's my cutting table. I used to straighten everything on the kitchen bar, and <laughs> everybody had come, and there was all my sewing mess everywhere, and my mm -hmm. husband didn't like that much. So yeah. anyway, now I have this really cute, you know, island, but I can sit at it. It's like lower, so I, I like just love that. it. And it's I on wheels. Well, so if I need to move if you need it to or push it aside, yeah. right? And I like yeah. that you have a nice big long cutting mat on there. It must make you just feel so good to and so relaxed to be able to be there, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. I had a t a tiny room, and there was piles of stuff. My kids called me a hoarder because there was just piles of stuff. But <laughs> oh, now have no I have idea. a place for everything. Uh huh. And I can put I can clean it and find a place to put things away, and it's and I try to keep it neater. I love that. And then I love what you did here with your machine embroidery hoops. Tell us about this hack. Oh, that. I don't know if you can mention stores, but Ikea or any oh, yeah. um, like uh, office sure. supply place, they uh, have things for magazines. Mm -hmm. And it works so good. And they're just all right there. And I can just grab them and they're not getting bent. Yes. I thought that was a really good idea. I love that. And do you have that just sitting on your desk or is that actually... No, it's, it's attached to attached my wall to the next wall. to my uh, embroidery machine. Oh, yes. Such a great idea. I really like that a lot, Vicki. Um, this one is showing us your thread storage. Ooh, I'm a little envious. Tell us about this one with underneath your serger. Oh, okay. This is another IKEA deal. Okay. They have these really... Sh uh, shallow drawers there's six drawers and then I went to the dollar store and got bins mm -hmm. and so I can open one drawer and I can see exactly all of the blues <laughs> all of the pinks the greens the whites whatever all at the same time huh and then my husband built this cute little thing for my serger uh -huh. and you pull it out it's on a drawer like a drawer slider thing and so you pull it out and serge on it and then push it back out of the way He's a smart guy. Just the top of it. The wood part goes forward. Yeah, that's nice. Well, then you have some more counter space there. You know, it's yes. like having yes. this big extension table next to your serger. I love that. And yes. here's a picture of some more threads. Tell us what you've got going on here. Okay, is this the one with the, the cover? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. This is all my serger cones. And then up above it is the... Um, fat quarter bins. Mm -hmm. You can get these bins. Here's my big one. Oh, yes. Look bins, at that. And you can get these, and you can fit about 150 or so fat quarters. Oh, you know, hey. We, we come to your store and we find <laughs> all of these cute fat quarters. That's right. <laughs> and then we come home and it's like, where am I going to put them where I can find them? So exactly. I just pull, I, I try to get them by color. Yep. And, and it, it works really good. Nice. I like it. Really good idea. And then you can actually just pull one out at a time and you've got it all right there, right? Yeah. yeah. And then we've got this picture you sent. This is also some more fabric that uh you have it in like little cubicles kind of what they're what like you, little pantries yeah. little pantries but oh this took me days to go through my <laughs> boxes of fabric and i tried to fold them to fit the shelf mm -hmm. that i put and it's embarrassing how much fabric i have i probably have close to what you have you know <laughs> you could open your own fabric store <laughs> I could, I could. <laughs> yeah yeah I, that's I why I finally had stairs for a yard I sale. 
that I finally had to open up a fabric store because of that very problem. Yeah. I thought about it. <laughs> and I have one for quilting fabric. I uh -huh. have one for children's fabric. I have one for clothes I'm going to make myself. Nice. <laughs> and so it's all organized and I can open it up and see what I have. And uh -huh. that's my quilting one, I believe. I love that. <laughs> Thank you. And then one more. Here's your how you hang your rulers. Tell us about yes, this. Yes, those those command hooks work yeah. so great on the side of your cabinets. Mm -hmm. And I have them all on the side of a couple of cabinets, and I can just reach them. And I they were hidden. I didn't even know I had so many rulers. I bought some of the same <laughs> ones too. Is well, you know then that you really liked that ruler, right? When you yes. end up buying the I, same I, ones. I, <laughs> happens all the time to people <laughs> that's great you can't live without them right yep. no that's so great those are such great pictures in your sewing space I love that thank um, you yeah so do you have a television in there no 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 mm, see no. that would be the only other thing that I would love to have in a sewing room I think and then I could just like binge watch <laughs> something i don't well, know there's there's not so much fun things to watch anymore no. and so what i watch is all the Hallmark. youtube videos oh. i have my ipad and my computer yes which runs my embroidery machine so mm -hmm. i have started watching how to do different things i love annie videos mm -hmm. i love mm -hmm. different things on youtube so fun and of learn. course three at three. Oh yes that's right <laughs> you're so sweet you are so nice. Oh my gosh! Oh. Yeah, it is. It is fun to to be a lifelong learner, don't you think? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Always yes. learning something new, and it, even sometimes we think, "Oh, I know how to do that," and then somebody shows us a different way of doing something, and it's like, "Oh, you know, I never thought yeah. of it that way." Right? Yeah. That's what's yeah. so fun about learning from one another. So I love that. Those are some really, really great tips. Now you have another thing that I thought was so cool. Why don't you show us how you fussy cut? Because this is okay. a, this is a fantastic idea, guys. Okay, you know the Emmeline retreat bags. Yes. Is, Barb. Is, Barb taught the class. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, I did this when I embroidered it. So but cute. this, like this little Winnie the Pooh, you had to fussy cut it to get it right, right you know. So and then I fussy sure. cut the little, the, the tabs. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a pot of honey. This is a dragonfly. And then we have little Minnie Mouse on, ah, the, so cute. on the other <laughs> one. So that's really fun. So I kind of wanted to show you how I do that. Mm -hmm. um, there's a... Uh, I just make the pattern. Um, I like to make patterns because I made like 10 of these. And so I like to make the pattern and then put the ruler over top of it. But this is like for the the zipper tab. And I just put a little piece of cellophane. You, you know, see that? I, I'm going to bring you up. Um, I'm going to take myself off. So we got you on the main screen. There we go. Oh, okay. Let's show, let's show again. Okay. So I have, I fussy cut the little... Uh, zipper tabs and mm -hmm. I just cut a little window in my pattern and put cellophane from your kit bags. Oh <laughs> my goodness. Up. And then so um, smart. when I cut out the other ones, this is what can you see that? Yeah. So I got the machine in the middle. Yes. And here's another one. This was a piece of fabric from my uh, mama's bedspread that I made her and so I got the little Aww. birds right in the in the, can you see that? Yes. So anyway, that works really good. I, I started this one for my husband and see, I fussy cut the, oh, the cowboys. Yeah. The, this is for Kyle. <laughs> That's right. I'll <laughs> let her know for the cows. <laughs> the cows. So anyways, um, and then I would like to show you how I do the zipper tabs. If okay. we have time, do yeah. we have time? Yeah, let's go for it. Okay. So I cut them like this, and then I take a piece of uh, heat and bond, or what's the other word you call it? Um, steam a seam. Yeah, steam a seam. Yeah. And so I cut that, and whoops, it's not going to come off. Of course, we're on TV. 
<laughs> Welcome to my world, Vicky. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. So there anyways, we go. you take it off, and then I take the thin piece of the Peltex. That's the thinner. Yes. The thinner one, or some thick interfacing. Yeah. And I put it right in the center, like this. Okay. Center it. And whoops, that's not the right one. That's too small. Okay. So there's about a 3 8 inch seam allowance all through there. So like this. Then you go to your iron and you fold it this way. And it'll kind of stick to itself. And you kind of angle the corners. Yes. And you iron all this down. Whoops, that's not in the middle. Anyway, you iron all the edges. And it comes like this. Okay. And then I just, while it's hot, I take my clips and just clip it. Oh, there you go. Using so those there it awesome is. wonder clips. Yeah. yeah. So then when I'm ready to do, this is the one I'm going to do for my, um, the cowboy in my life. <laughs> the cow one. I have a little dog. Oh, it's a, how cute. So I'm going to put this little dog on here. But I use Elmer's glue, the washable glue. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. And I just put the the glue around inside, mm -hmm. and then I put it put it on like that, and then I put clips. And while I'm doing the other pieces, that'll kind of dry. And then I take the clips off. And there's my cow. <laughs> and oh, let's see, there it is. There's there the we cow. go. Uh huh. Oh my god. And then you just sew. So that you know, like sure. an eighth of an inch around. Yeah. So that's how you do the the zippers for the um. Oh, what are they called? Emmeline bags. Yes, I I love that idea, Vicky. I think that is so clever, and I love how you use made your own window. It was like you repurposed the, the cellophane bags, right? Yeah. You made your own w window. It's just so, so clever. It's it's perfect. Thank you. Another thing I do is, do you remember, what's this called? Pins and posies? Mm -hmm. That Barb did. Yeah, yes. that Barb did. Well, mm -hmm. I got that off the girlfriend. Um, I'm a member of your club. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> and so I... You know, sometimes you only have 10, 15 minutes to sew. Remember, Nancy Zeman had that book, 10, 20 minutes to yes, sew. Yes, yes. And so when I get a few minutes, I'll mm -hmm. cut this out and put it, repurpose it in your your uh, kit bags. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This was the Tooth Fairy Bench Buddy pillow thing. So anyway, and then I put it like this, then you don't lose all the little pieces. And so then I have it all ready, so then another time I'll have, you, you know, a few minutes out. to go sew it up. Oh my gosh, Vicki, you are so organized. Uh, <laughs> anyway, another thing I like to save is, oh, you know, yeah. your laundry cups? Yeah. Off your detergent? Yeah. I'm always taking a foot off, like with that, you have to use a zipper foot, and I knock it off. So I put these on my table for to put your them in, or your clips, your... Um, binder clips yes and so I, I can you know not you, scatter everything you really like to repurpose things and I love that yes and like um oh you'll like this one okay uh, yes. <laughs> this is like a tin that M&Ms come in mm -hmm. and I put this right by my embroidery machine I have my scissors and my uh Sewers age some needles right there, and I keep it all, and so I don't knock them on the floor and lose them. <laughs> and then, oh, another fun thing. Oh, these are really good. Get oh, your yes. threads. Yes, get your threads. And then when I'm cutting out or I'm um, oh, sewing, mm -hmm. you know, you got threads everywhere. Mm -hmm. So I took a Ziploc sandwich box, <laughs> covered it with compact paper. Well, be, of course, because it's got to be cute. There. It's got to be yeah. cute. <laughs> yeah, or my husband will think it's junk and throw it away. So, <laughs> anyways, I have those that I can just, I have them on every machine. Or, sometimes I have the garbage. You know when you get the popcorn in the big... Yes, and they're so yes, cute. You don't I, want to throw I, them I away. I everywhere. Yeah, they're so cute. <laughs> so, I have them everywhere to try to keep the threads and all the little scraps. 
and then I have a, a bucket for my crumb quilt. <laughs> there you too. go. There you go. I think you're officially a genius. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to tell my husband you said That's that. Right. You're not even like a genius. I think you I'm officially like a are a genius. Oh, you're so kind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm impressed. I'm I'm very impressed. You, oh, thanks. So, so, so smart. Oh, my gosh. So uh, show us your, your saying that you like to have in your sewing room as well. Oh. That was cute. <laughs> That's so cute. I'm creative. You can't expect me to be neat, too. But, but, but Vicki, Vicki, let's be real, okay? I think you're both. <laughs> well, I'm better than I used to be. Yeah. My kids would come in and they, they knew if I, they wanted their pants hemmed or a zipper fixed, they knew if they put their pants in the sewing room, they'd never see them again. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You might embroider a Minnie Mouse or something on them, too. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ah, good idea. You're like, the oh, hole. there we go. <laughs> Look at that. How many, how many grandkids do you have? I have 15. 15. And my oldest is 25, and he's getting married this summer. Aww. And then I have this little cute baby that's two. And they go from 25 to two. I bet you love being a grandma and doing all these fun things for them. Yeah. And so I love making little girls' dresses mm -hmm. with all the ruffles. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and, um, and my little granddaughters love to sew, and it's so fun Aww. when they come to my house, they want to sew. I love that. And you know your little so tree cool. pillow and yeah. the peppermint forest? Yeah, yeah. The paper piecing kids can do that because they have a line to sew on. My little five-year-old granddaughter, Kansas, made a perfect block. What a wonderful thing. And she probably felt so successful, right? She did. She made, uh, I posted it on the Girlfriends Club page, but not yes. club, the, just the Girlfriends Club the page. Fr the friends she of... made, we took it and made a hot pad for her mom for Christmas. Yes, you did. Now I remember that. Yep. That was so I've never done cute. paper piecing. You introduced me to that, too. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's not too bad, right? I, I loved it. Yeah. Yeah. Really fun. I'm a little bit on the OCD side. I unpick things 50 times to yeah. get them perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's great. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That is so fun. Vicki, what a fun conversation. Does anyone have any other questions for her while we're, people are laughing about the crown quilt? <laughs> um, let's see. There was someone who asked about if you used a special paper on when you were doing those, um, the fussy cutting you didn't use a special paper did you no well actually this paper here i think is one of your invoices that you sent me with my order because i don't want my husband to know what i spent <laughs> <laughs> i recycle you know if you make you a mistake go. in your printer i have a scratch paper file and there you i go. just pull it out and it's just tie paper <laughs> and then this is from one of your uh kits that oh I bought. Oh my goodness. And you, you get, it's amazing how much of the cellophane we throw away. Yeah, it's true. You know? That is true. That's so true. Um, yep. Kimberly said, uh, wow, Vicki, would you like to come and do my sewing area? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Where do you live? That's right. You, you can start your own little side business of just organizing people's sewing rooms, right? <laughs> well, I had piles and piles oh. and I would sit and cry. Because yeah. what have I done? I've bought so much stuff, but now I have all these patterns from you, and I can, we live so far away, I can't run to the store and buy, you know, fabric every day. Right, right. You know, like, <laughs> she, she, it's, just, it's just so fun to, oh, you know, have space to do it. Yeah, for sure. Gina said, okay, I need to spend a weekend with her. Go away, COVID. <laughs> Oh, I know. I Gina, know. Gina's in the in the Salt Lake area, so she's not too far oh. from you. Oh my goodness, Alicia. And I was. Huh? Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. I was just gonna say thank you, girlfriends. When I post things, you're so kind mm -hmm. to say, "Oh, that looks so cute." Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah, such a great community, isn't it? We yes. we sure love our girlfriends. Um, Alicia said she's so organized. Oh my goodness, how great it would be to be like Vicky. <laughs> oh. <laughs> New, the new Vicky. Yeah, you got <laughs> my kids. You got some good fans. You got some big fans. Kenzie said, um, "Yep, it's official. She's darling." <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah. That's so kind. Maybe we need to start a new hashtag that says be like Vicky, right? Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Be like Vicky. That is so awesome. Well, Vicky, you're going to be the first person that I'm going to ask to do this. So I, um, hopefully, uh, uh, you won't be too nervous about this. But when I started doing, um, at the beginning of COVID, this was before three at three and I had done the maker summit, which is kind of how yeah. you were introduced to my girlfriend's quilt shop. And, um, one of the things I always ended with, and I should have started this with all of our friends, but I'm going to start it with you. I would love to hear what, as your closing remarks today, what life advice has served you well, my friend? What okay. life advice? My husband gave me this sign, and I hang it in my door of my sewing room. Do more of what makes you happy. I, You know, there is so many sad things when you watch what's going on in the world in their communities and our in our nation and it just makes me so sad mm -hmm. and I get so depressed because mm -hmm. I just worry you know it's mm -hmm. just so many bad things and wicked things mm -hmm. and so I just feel like I this is my little place that's my happy place that yeah. I come in here and I can sew and I can feel good about myself and watch yeah. you and you're so uplifting and happy mm -hmm. and whatever you enjoy if it's reading if it's sewing if it's whatever yeah especially in the winter we can't go out and do much outside so but true. whatever you that makes you happy do, do more, more of. of i love that thank you. you thank you so much you are just an absolute delight it has been so fun oh. <laughs> and we need to go to lunch sometime, my friend. Oh, Can I we? would love that. I would love, love that, that too. When I'm, when I'm, when all this is over and you're, you're, you're in my neck of the woods and Sandy and I'm down there too, let's do lunch. That would I be would so fun. I would love that. And Gina Hyatt will bring you with us. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you can get to know Vicki too. Um, it, it's been so fun to be with you. Thank you for being my guest today. Oh, thank you for having me. Yes, and everyone, you'll have to go back, read through the comments so you can see how wonderful our community is and that they're saying what a great job you've done. Thank because you. Because you really have. You've really inspired us today. So thank you. Thank you so much. All right, <laughs> we will talk to you later.